Liverpool's 10-year drought from lifting a League Cup trophy was finally put to an end a week ago. After a dramatic penalty shootout victory against Chelsea, Travelling Reds celebrated with their heroes behind the West End goal at Wembley Stadium. The headlines were grabbed by Virgil van Dijk's imperious form that kept yet another clean sheet, Joachim Kelleher's instinctive saves that denied multiple goal-scoring opportunities, and Luis Diaz's blistering pace that troubled defenders all game long. Amidst all the wild post-game celebrations that took place, the 27-year-old Japanese forward Takumi Minamino stood there as the spotlight shined on the rest of his teammates. Despite bagging four goals and one assist leading up to the Carabao Cup final, it was clear, given the entire team was fit, that he was not going to be hearing his name called in the starting 11 of the final. But knowing he's not the first choice player didn't cause him to quit or complain. For him, his ultimate dream was already achieved the day he signed for Liverpool, and his continuous, selfless attitude is an important asset the Reds will need on their march to claim the quadruple. This is the story of the rise of one of the most underrated players on Liverpool's team. Born on January 16, 1995, Takumi Minamino's name contains two kanjis. Kanji is a Japanese system of symbols that represent words and ideas. The meaning of his name means, pave the way by yourself, then success will come. It's fair to say that Taki has done just that. At just the age of 12, Minamino was scouted in his hometown of Izu Misano by four-time J-League champion Cerezo Osaka. He would show his brilliant form through the youth ranks as he played up both his age at U15 and U18 level. Some notable skill sets of the young Japanese forward at the time included his silky dribbling skills and gifted technical ability on the ball. By the age of 19, Takumi Minamino made his first full team debut with Cerezo Osaka in the Japanese top division. He played up to 30 games in the season and got to play alongside one of the world's best strikers at the time, Diego Forlan. However, despite appearing in the AFC Champions League, Asia's most prestigious tournament equivalent to Europe's UEFA Champions League, Cerezo's league form was poor. The team finished second bottom and had to be relegated. This was a major turning point in Taki's career. Takumi always saw himself playing in Europe ever since he was a boy. He revealed this later in his career when interviewed by Liverpool. He shared, Playing in Europe was my dream since childhood, and I wanted to play overseas since I turned pro. In January of 2015, his wish was granted. Austrian giants RB Salzburg signed him on a deal worth just less than £1 million. The move was a perfect fit for the Japanese international from the get-go. The synergy between Taki's attacking prowess and Salzburg's offensive-minded tactics led to instant success. In his first full season in Austria, Minamito found the net 13 times and was the third leading scorer in the club behind Jonathan Soriano and Nabi Keita. Minamino was part of the attacking trio that helped guide Salzburg to not one, not two, not even three, but five consecutive league titles. He left his mark in Europe as well. In the 2017-2018 Europa League quarterfinals, Taki scored an important away goal in the first leg against Lazio to help the team win on aggregate 6-5 and advance to the semis. Although Salzburg would end up not making it to the finals, the Japanese sensation grabbed all the headlines that week as he led his team to their first semi-final appearance in the competition. Then came the 2019-2020 campaign, one which saw Salzburg make it into Group E of the UEFA Champions League competition. Taki's RB Salzburg side joined then-current champions Liverpool as well as Napoli and Genk. This was set up for what some might call the match that made Liverpool by Minamino. After winning on match day 1 6-2 over Genk, Salzburg made the trip to Anfield to take on Liverpool, who had just lost their opening fixture away at Napoli. By halftime, the game looked out of reach for the visitors as they were down 3-1. But then just over 10 minutes into the second half, Minamino smashed in a beautiful volley to put his side back to within a goal. A quarter of an hour later, he would threaten Erling Haaland, who leveled the scoring at three apiece. Although Mo Salah would reclaim Liverpool's lead less than 10 minutes after Haaland equalized and Liverpool would hold on for the rest of the game, Minamino was clearly the star man of the evening 
and a name that Klopp would not forget. Fast forward just two months, Liverpool made Klopp's interest in signing Takumi Minamino official. It was an early Christmas gift for the Reds as they successfully acquired the Japanese forward for £7.25 million from RB Salzburg. Taki became the first Asian player as well as the only signing during the 2020 transfer window for Liverpool. It has been a dream, my dream to become a Liverpool player, and I'm so excited that the moment has come true. To play in the Premier League was one of my top targets. I think this is the top class league in the world. I was thinking if my career as a footballer progressed smoothly, someday I would be able to play in the Premier League. But I never thought I would be able to play in this team, and I'm really happy about it. I'm looking forward to it. Minamino shared with Liverpool on his signing day. However, things didn't get off to a fast start in Merseyside like Taki would have hoped for. Not only did the COVID-19 pandemic disrupt his transition into a new team, he played less than 500 minutes of football in his first half season with the Reds and wasn't able to record a goal or an assist at all. But that didn't matter as he was the backup crew that helped Liverpool secure its first ever Premier League title in club history, ending LFC's 30-year drought from lifting England's top-tier league trophy. Minamino's first goal for the club then came in that summer. Taki helped level the scoring against Arsenal in the Community Shield before Liverpool would go on to lose the match in penalties. After his first proper preseason at the club, Klopp decided to deploy the striker as an impact sub in most games. Minamino wasn't the main go-to option as he played around 740 minutes from just 35 total appearances he made. It was clear that Salah, Mane, Firmino, and new signing Diogo Jota were all ahead of him in Klopp's pecking order. As a result, a lone move was necessary for him to gain that playing time. Liverpool sent Takumi to one of their so-called feeder clubs, Southampton, in the second half of the 2020-2021 season. Although it wasn't necessarily a successful loan spell where he lit up the league, Minamino started 9 of 10 games in the Premier League and he featured for the Saints and did score an important goal against Chelsea that helped earn Southampton the draw. With a whole lot of questions coming into the season speculating that Liverpool would offload their lone 2020 winter transfer window signing just a year and a half later, Klopp would give Taki a second chance as he brought him back to be part of Liverpool's team heading into the 2021-2022 season. Klopp has always bluntly rejected any ideas of letting go of Takumi Minamino whenever the question was raised by the media. He shared, It's just a situation he's in. To be a Liverpool player, it's actually the best place you can be, but it means you have to deal with situations you would not have to deal with somewhere else. You could play maybe all the time, but have no chance to win silverware. Although as of the time of recording, Minamino has not started a single Premier League game since the 7-0 thrashing at Crystal Palace from a season ago, he has decided to stay at Liverpool to become a part of something bigger than himself. A new season meant a fresh start for Taki with Liverpool. As part of Klopp's squad rotation policy, his minutes mainly came in domestic cups, and it's safe to say that he has made them count. Minamino was a prominent figure in Liverpool's road to Carabao Cup success. It started with his double at Norwich in the round of 32, which helped Liverpool cruise past them 3-0. Then his streak continued in the next round as he netted the opening goal at Preston to send Liverpool through to the quarterfinals. If that wasn't impressive already, the man from Japan assisted fellow striker Diogo Jota before he made it 3-3 when he smashed in a last gasp equalizer against Leicester to send the game to penalties, where the Reds eventually came out on top to move on to the semis. Takumi would go on to feature in both legs against Arsenal and help book Liverpool's ticket in the Carabao Cup final. There he was standing on the red confetti. The Isu Misano native looked on as Liverpool claimed their record-setting 9th League Cup trophy. Although all Taki could do was cheer on his team for 120 minutes and watch them win on penalties, it didn't take the smile off his face. Costa Simicas handed over the cup to him and team captain Jordan Henderson, alongside Fabinho, Virgil van Dijk, as well as other members of the Liverpool team, urged the crowd to hype up the Japanese forward's emphatic trophy lift. Just like the meaning of his name, he has certainly paved his own path and his success can be seen by millions around the world. 
Takumi Minamino, the epitome of selflessness and one of the most underrated players on Liverpool's team.